Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Um, this is probably the most important video that I've made. And the reason it is, is mental conditioning is the one preparation everyone has got to do. Uh, I don't care anything about all your skills. I don't care about how much money you have, gold, silver, um, the stuff. Uh, none of that means anything unless you have the mental uh, faculties to get the most out of it. And uh, so mental conditioning is the number one thing. Now I am probably the, uh, well I am the oldest I've ever been. I'm probably, I'm not in as best shape as I've always been throughout my life. But I am more effective on getting things done. Now why is that? And it's not just me. Uh, that's where they talk about your elders. And uh, you know, you should respect your elders and listen to your elders. And the reason is they've had more mental conditioning. Uh, there's another saying about you don't mess with a man older than you. Uh, the reason that is, is more than likely he's got uh, the mental uh, abilities to uh, overwhelm you. Now, when I say mental, I'm talking about uh, He's mentally prepared to do more the older the person is. And uh, like I say, I don't have as much stuff when it comes to preparation as most people do. But uh, I'm much more effective on getting things done without having all of the stuff. Uh, I have less stuff and more capabilities. The reason I have this is because of mental preparation. How do you get mental preparation? The first thing is every time you do something, every time you have an accomplishment, you are adding one more building block to your uh, mental preparations. Each accomplishment that you do or attempt to do still builds to your capabilities. Uh, all this Another way to see it is confidence. You can see the confidence in someone and more than likely when they show that confidence, more than likely they've had um, experience. And the experiences they've had, they've learned from it. Not everybody learns from their experiences. They're idiots. Um, and that's what's going on with the United States and the majority of the people uh, is they don't learn from their experiences. Uh, like I say, I've had uh, a lawn care business. Uh, I didn't do any good, didn't make any money. Uh, I've had multiple restaurants. Uh, some made money, some didn't. Um, I've been in the oil business. Uh, I had oil wells, I drilled oil wells, I did all, all different um, parts of the oil business and gas, natural gas business. And uh, uh, let's see, uh, 
uh, skin care products, made skin care products. Um, you know, I don't know. I can't even can't even think of all the stuff I've been into. Uh, not all financially rewarded me. All of them did mentally reward me. Uh, I, when I was younger, I was stupider. I spent more time watching TV instead of being productive and trying to learn things and do things. Um, and that's really what they're doing now to the most of the people. A lot of electronics crap is to stop you from experiencing and doing things. You, when you're playing on playing video games on uh, electronic like telephones and uh, I say television, uh, computer games and all this kind of crap, it stops you from the reality of doing things. And the reality of doing things is an accomplishment. And that, like I say, whether you accomplish it positive or it didn't work out quite so well, it doesn't make any difference. All of these builds on your confidence and builds on strengthening you mentally. It makes you mentally alert on what's going on around you. Um, if you've noticed uh, my shooting using a handgun, it's very simple. Uh, it's uh, very good. It works. It's been proven time and time again. Um, you can see it in my, uh, I say I'm no martial arts expert. It's like I'm no shooting expert. I don't shoot targets. Uh, I do self-defense. And it's the same thing when you look at the, uh, my hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's very simple. I don't do competition. Uh, I don't necessarily have to show off. Um, the people that I encounter once they see what I can do, they don't get a second chance. And um, in other words, the stuff I do works. It doesn't work over and over and over again on the same person. Once you understand it and you know it, then it kind of takes the fire out of it. Uh, kind of like the magic lights. Uh, coughing up the, my eyeball or uh, when I was coughing into my eyeball fell out. Uh, these are um, tactics that work. Uh, they pretty much work 100% of the time. Um, the problem is they don't work every time. In other words, I can't use it on the same person each time. Once you see it, then you and you've experienced it now you've lost the fire it, I mean it's, there's nothing there uh, to motivate you to do anything and I do the same and like I say they're all simple and it's the same thing when I fight uh, I'm showing you how I use the tomahawk how I use the knife these are all things they all work they don't work when somebody knows it, knows what's going to happen to them, if they've experienced it, then it's a little bit different then. That's when you're going up against experienced people, when, and well, we're going to, let's just stay with combat, just the, the combat. We're going to go knife combat. Uh, in a knife combat, when you are going against somebody that has been experienced in combat fighting to the death with a knife, um, they've got a lot that they've already built on because each time you survive a knife fight your, your building blocks just really get you going. You've really developed something. That's why you need to do the same thing in all aspects of your life. Doing things.
not just watching TV and thinking, oh, well, this is the way it's going to be. No, you have to experience it. The hands-on experience is what makes all the difference in the world. Now, uh, I say each time you do something, that adds on. Uh, I told you right now, I'm now I'm, I've got so much stuff going on, now I'm trying to limit it because I can't have all of all the equipment that I need to do everything. And even though I'm uh, I say I'm sharpening things. Okay, you saw it was just a small bag and uh, is all I need to do the sharpening. The leather work. All I need is the small bag and it holds all the tools I need to do my leather work. And so I'm trying to focus in, even though there's more things I can do, I'm trying to focus in on some of the stuff that I really want to excel in. And uh, I say, now uh, I'm limited on firearms. I'm limited on uh, uh, hand weapons, knives, uh, tomahawks, this type of stuff. Um, but I work on them when I get a chance. And at the same time, I'm doing hoi chi. Hoi chi is that you know you see the old people doing all this kind of stuff you know like that okay hoi chi is uh, well it was banned in China for 500 years because it's the most deadliest martial art in the world now they've been able to convince everybody that it's just uh, an old people exercise uh, but it's not and I do the hoi chi with weapons and so uh, or not the the Tai Chi, the Tai Chi is the one that does like this, and uh, uh, I do it with weapons, and that's the way it was really designed to be, uh, because like I say, you are giving your body experience in combat. You are preparing your mind for combat. You are uniting the mind and the body and the chi, the energy in the body. That's what makes Tai Chi such an effective, um, not only exercise, but fighting uh, style. It, it combines and it, it brings them all together. The mind, the body, and the energy all comes together and is used to do combat. Each, and you don't, you don't learn this stuff by watching TV or watching a video on it. You have to do it. And that's the same thing on uh, all of this stuff. You do these things and they add to your accomplishments and it adds to your confidence and it adds to your mental preparedness. You are understanding and learning things. Uh, so, um, the mental part of preparing is the absolute most valuable. And I'll tell you, it's the most expensive. You'll see all this stuff that I talk about, you can put so many dollars on whatever, even guns and weapons, you can, you can spend so much money on this stuff. But when it comes to mental preparedness it's beyond the money you can spend because it's each thing that you do they all add up so it's the most expensive thing but each thing that you accomplish adds on strength to your mental preparedness this is Mike nostressmike.com